Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, hello, my name is Rachel. Very, very nice to meet you. I hope you will stick around for a little while and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. But today I have a wish haul for you. I have not done a wish haul in forever. I used to do these quite a bit when I was back in uni and I kind of went off it because of the lack of sustainability. But in recent times, they've kind of started making moves towards a little bit more planet conscious, which I really appreciate. I think it's still got a little bit of a way to go, but I'm gonna go through the kind of things that they've put in place as I'm going through some bits. But I have homeware, beauty things, accessories, jewelry, lots to show you today. So I'm hoping that there'll be something for everybody. If you do enjoy the video, please do subscribe. It'll be really, really nice to have you comment and like and all that fun stuff because it really does help my channel out. And I'm also gonna leave my Instagram over here for you to see. Most of my Instagram is lifestyle and fashion content. So if you're into that kind of thing, head over there when you get the chance. I am going to dive right in. So one thing that Wish has started doing is putting flags on their products. So you can basically kind of shop local. I mean, it's not local, it's not just kind of down the road, but you know that it's not going to get shipped all the way from China or wherever crazy overseas shipping. You know that you're buying from a UK seller, which is really, really helpful. And I'm sure that's probably the same for whatever country you are living in. You can have the option to shop your flag. Um, and there's also express shipping as well, which is a very kind of similar thing. And they also have a lot of kind of sustainable sellers now selling reusable products, zero plastic products, all of those kind of things as well. So I've got a couple of those to show you today, but I'm going to start with some nail stuff. I've got lots of nail stuff to show you because honestly, the vast majority of my stuff that I buy for my nails, I do them myself at home. They are what I've got going on at the moment. Um, most of the stuff that I buy is from Wish. <laughs> so I've got some new stuff that's really fun. So I want to show you that. I'll get the boring stuff out of the way. I've got some new brushes. These are them. They're really cute, you know. I do have some already that I got from Wish, but they were a little bit shorter brushes, if that makes sense. They come with a little cap, which is really helpful. But for kind of intricate designs like these ones, having a longer brush really, really helps. So these ones are nice and long. They're really cute. They've got little sparkles in them. So this was a pack of three with kind of different sizes and shapes going on. So that's those. Really, really cute. Super cheap as chips, and they're just going to be really, really handy. So that's the first thing. Then I got very kind of bog standard cuticle cutters. I don't have any of these and to get a kind of salon quality manicure, I think it really, really helps to do this and neaten up your cuticles. If you see any kind of tutorials online, they use these. So I thought I should get some of these. Moving into the more exciting things, I've got some nail foils. I do need to buy the kind of adhesive that you need for these, but I will get around to that. But I picked these because the designs are so cool. So basically you paint the solution on your nails wherever you want the foil to go. And then you basically just stick them on. So I'm gonna show you some of the designs that I got. Here they are. And they have loads of different kind of marble effect foils. <gasps> like look at that blue one, how stunning. But yeah, I think they're so gorgeous. And it just kind of makes a really complex design super, super easy. Cause you can just slap them on. They're gonna look amazing and everyone's gonna be like, wow. They are those, they're really cute. I cannot wait to start trying those out. Like I say, I do just need to get that um, adhesive, but how cute. The next thing I picked up are some water marbling polishes, I'm gonna call them. They're really weird, a little bit different. They were packaged really nicely. So there's been zero damage, zero leaks, which we like. But I'm gonna leave some pictures on screen of what these can achieve, basically. They are so, so cool. They're basically watercolor background polishes. So I got the clear bottle first. As you can see, it's just a clear solution. And then I got three gorgeous colors to be able to water marble my nails. So I got a really, really bright pink, which is absolutely stunning. It is really bright, really gorgeous, perfect for summer. Then I also got a purple because I thought that's a little bit different. And then I also got a bright orange because I am really into orange at the moment. There's just something about orange for summer. It's like a tequila sunrise. I love it a lot. So there we go. And they all have numbers on the top. So if you want to shop the numbers, I got three, four and five. And then number two is the clear solution that you mix it with to make those gorgeous designs. So I'm really excited to try that as well. And then the last product that I got for nails are these. <laughs> I've been seeing like resin rings all over the place with these little fruity, just cuteness in them. I love seeing these on nail designs. I like to go all crazy with my nails. So these are what they look like. They have all sorts of different fruit in them and they're so cute. So there's little watermelons, wish it would focus. 
strawberries, grapes, kiwis, just all of the cutie cutie things. If I can find some nail designs with these featured, I will pop them in there as well. I just think it's just gonna be really fun for summer, chilly fruity, just a great time. So there we go, they are all the nail bits that I picked up. Moving on to some hair accessories now, the first thing I picked up is an absolute staple. If you've been following me on my Instagram, I wear these clips all the time and they're a lifesaver. Like if you've got a bad hair day, you shove it up in a clip that takes three seconds. If your hair's greasy, if you've not washed it yet, it can just transform your hair. I've got a few different colors of these and I just wanted to pick up a black one because I wear a black one to work a lot. However, if I'm dancing, that one that I've got already got just doesn't hold my hair at all. And these ones are amazing because they've got like an extra prong down the side. So it really grabs your hair and as you can see, it is a big old clip. It holds my hair so much better than the other one that I have and they do these in so many different colours. If you're on the market, definitely check them out on Wish because they're super affordable and they literally have every single colour under the sun. And then I also picked up a different one that I've seen a lot on Instagram and it is this kind of square design and it's tortoise shell. I just think, again, tortoise shell, absolute classic, really nice, strong clip, holds a decent amount of hair and again, it has those extra spikes. I don't know whether you can see that a little bit better on there. But yeah, it just holds your hair much better and I love the kind of classic design, perfect for now. And I think it's something that I can wear for years and years on end because it's just a classic. And the final hair accessory I got was a little bit of a fail, I won't lie. It's not a complete fail, but I'm just not, it's, I'm just not loving it. I got a hair stick. I love these things. I follow, I think they're called just minimal hair or minimal hair design on TikTok and they are amazing. And they basically just use things like this to put up your hair in about three seconds flat. And I've been doing this a lot at work when I want my hair down for the day. And I just wanna put my hair up for one of my classes without kinking my hair. And this is one that I already have that's gonna feature in a haul very, very soon. And as you can see, it's super sturdy, it's quite thick, and it just, it does the job. However, this is the one that I picked up from Wish, and it's beautiful, like the colors are stunning, like how pretty, so it's got kind of champagne, yellow, blue, lilac, all the gorgeous colors that I'm obsessed with at the moment. But as you can see, one, it's a little bit, a little bit wonky donkey, it's a little bit bent, but then it's also extremely flimsy. So I don't know whether it's gonna hold all my hair. However, I can just stick up half my hair with this. So I'm still gonna be able to use it. I just wish it was a little bit more substantial, but I highly recommend them for just shoving your hair up. Really, really helpful. I then have one piece of jewelry to show you. I have actually bought this before, but from a different seller. So I'm gonna try and make sure that I link the direct one that I got this time because my last one broke. Um, about two seconds into wearing it. This is just a 1996 necklace. That makes me feel a little bit sick. I used to really like wearing necklaces like this and now I'm looking at it, I'm like, yeah, half a century old. Wonderful. So I don't know how I feel about wearing this anymore because yes, it means I'm 25. Anyway, I think it's really, really cute. It's that kind of gothic font. There we go. It sits quite low actually. I quite like it for layering. So that's it, nice and simple. Get the tunes out, hope you enjoyed that. Alrighty, so now moving on to some of the bits that I picked up from their kind of sustainable range or their local range. Some of these were from that anyway, but this is kind of more of the focus on reusable products, etc. However, the first thing I'm going to talk about is a little bit sketch to me, um, and it is bamboo toothbrushes. So obviously no plastic in the toothbrush, but they did arrive in plastic packaging, which I get for kind of hygiene reasons, but I do think... Obviously they were in external packaging anyway, so I think they could have just got away with putting these in cardboard boxes. So that is my one thing, my one qualm with this that kind of just defeats the purpose, I think. But the toothbrushes themselves are really, really good. They're nice and firm. I have bought bamboo toothbrushes before and these bristles have been like just tickling your teeth and it just does absolutely nothing. Um, I do have an electric toothbrush, but for when I'm traveling or for right now when I'm at my boyfriend's, I just like a usual toothbrush so that is perfect i just wish that wish hadn't put plastic around them but yeah so that's those really like them and they also look really nice as well which is a bonus but then the second thing i got i'm really really pleased with they are reusable face pads so it comes in this little mesh bag which you could also use in the washing machine for like intimates and stuff so if you've got kind of lacy underwear that you don't want to get damaged you can stick that in here this bag is perfect for traveling or whatever but inside comes with loads and i mean 
loads. I don't know how many there are in here. I've obviously got a big handful here and there's also loads still left in there. And they're in beautiful colours. They have white, yellow, pink and blue. And it just means that you're not using cotton pads every single day and then just chucking them away. So these, once you've used them, you just pop them in the washing machine and you can use them again. So on one side, it's kind of just like flannelly cotton material. And on this side, it's almost like kind of velvet feeling. These I've got in kind of giant pads like that and they are really, really efficient. Like I could use this first as my kind of first initial cleanse to take my makeup off and then I would go in with my other cleanser for my second cleanse because I have been double cleansing and I've seen a good difference in my skin from doing that. So for your kind of initial removal of your makeup, this is going to be really, really helpful. They're super cute, reusable little bit better for the planet so happy with that and then the final things that I've got are actually homeware bits and the first one is really random and you're gonna be like oh what on earth is that Rachel however let me tell you it's gonna be so cute and it is just this it looks like a broken Christmas ornament I will give you that however it is literally just a multi kind of faceted crystal I mean it's definitely plastic just a little shape basically and it's got a hole in the top so I'm gonna put kind of see-through string you put it in the window of any room and then as soon as the sunlight hits it it brings kind of rainbows flashing everywhere and I think it's gonna be really really pretty so I'm gonna have this in an office space coming real soon and it's gonna just add a little bit of life it's something super tiny and super subtle that people aren't gonna see in your room and the final thing that I have to show you today is my favorite thing ever it is a homeware piece and it is this you're gonna be like what is that this is what it looks like it really does look like a little amp like a little speaker but then you take off the back in a little bag it comes some wall fixtures for you to be able to actually put it up, which is really helpful. I was kind of surprised that Wish actually did that. I wasn't expecting it, it was very helpful. And then it comes with these. So it looks like a little jack, a little end of an arc lead. And basically you plug it on in. So you just do this and you put your keys on there. I'm gonna put this up in an entryway, bish bash bosh, never lose your keys again. So when you're leaving, you just unplug the amp and you're off. I just think that's really cool. It's a bit geeky, but obviously I come from a performing arts background. I'm used to seeing these everywhere and I just think it's really cool. So they are all the things that I picked up from Wish this time. I really, really hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you are interested, have a little look and see if you can find any of those kind of sustainable items as well. It might just turn around your feeling towards Wish. And I do appreciate the fact that they're trying to improve that kind of side of things because that definitely puts me off shopping with them a lot because you just know that there's a lot of plastic going into it a lot of travel but if there's that option there to shop a little bit more locally then I'm all on board with that so there we have it I hope you enjoyed if you did please do subscribe like comment it really helps my channel out and it just genuinely would mean the world and then I will also pop my Instagram here as well for you to see should you want to see it but thank you so so much for watching and I will see you in my next one bye